Hey guys, welcome to SS Unit X to see this side and today we are going to see about the user properties. So if you haven't watched the copy data activity video in this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So let's get start with the user property. So what is user property? So in the user property, it helps us to view the additional information while monitoring the activity run. So here we can add the additional information for example if you want to add the source information additionally there then we can add that if you want to add the destination information like the table names and all so we can also add those and second we can also add only five properties under the user property section. So if you haven't understand about this so go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical. So in the last to last video we have seen about the copy data activity and in the last video we have seen about the monitoring tab here so if you haven't watched these two videos so before going forward i'll again strongly recommend to watch those two videos so in the copy data activity we have already set up the source so this is the source like azure sql and we are going to move the data from that azure sql from one table to second table source table is the employee and the sync table is the employee destination so in the mapping we have already done all those here we can see one tab that is the user property so under the user property here we can see two options first is the new and second is the auto generate so let me click on auto generate so it is automatically added the source and destination as you can see and the source table it is by default added and the destination table is added there so these two values are added automatically let me add one more and here let me call this as source type and the source type is the azure sql so we can add this information and the destination type we can also add so we can add the destination type and destination type is again azure sql so like this information additionally we have added here let me save this and after that let me try to debug it so it will take a little bit time so we can wait so it is executing and it is in progress that we can see and it is succeed so it is executed successfully now if we can scroll here in the right side we cannot see any information for the user property related so for that how we can check that we can go under the monitoring tab and in this monitoring tab under the debug because we have executed as a debug run and let me try to refresh it and this is executed right now so let me open this one and under this let me try to scroll in the right side and under this user property we can see one two three and four so all these four we have already added there so like this is the source type this is the source destination so all these are there so we can check the additional informations by using this user property so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video